Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, today we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Today we are doing the top 10 things you should do on your next carnival cruise. Yeah, man. Sometimes we take for granted that you know this information, but because of the questions that we've been getting, we understand that some people do not know what to do or what to expect. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it. Tip number one, we said this in a previous video, but once you join your Facebook group for your particular sailing, join the activities that they are planning on board. Sometimes yeah. they do meet and greets. Sometimes they do bar crawls. Sometimes they do cabin crawls where everyone just participates and have a great time. Yeah. It's a great way to get to know the people that you're going to be sailing with before you sail with them. So when it comes time to do these activities, you don't feel like they're strangers. Yeah, because on our last cruise, we actually did activity from the Facebook group that we was a part of mm -hmm. and we did a game called um, get to know you and on a piece of paper we had to write down certain things about ourselves and, and they would guess. read them off and then you had to guess who the person was which was a lot of fun it was and from that we are still friends with a few of those people yes. to this day so that's the good thing about having or uh, being a part of those activities yes. is that you get to form long-lasting friendships or even travel buddies yes tip number two we recommend checking out the Sea Day Brunch because a lot of people, when they get on the ship, they run to the buffets, they run the guys' burgers, they run to the blue iguana. But we want to let you know at the Sea Day Brunch, you guys can sit down at the table, place an order, they bring it to you. And the good thing is you don't have to worry about standing those long buffet lines. And then in the climate that yeah. we in, and you don't have to worry about people's nasty hands touching all over utensils and plates and all that. So please check out the Sea Day Brunch on the ship. Absolutely. Tip number three, I don't know if this is across the fleet, but Guy's Burgers actually has Guy's Breakfast Burgers. Yeah, man. So man. if that is on a ship that you're sailing on, Ooh. I tell you this, it's probably gonna be one of the weirdest combinations that you will ever taste in your life, but it went. Yeah. <laughs> like, it goes. <laughs> so if you have an opportunity, just check out a breakfast burger. Yeah, and they, they are delicious. They matter of fact, are. the queen, my queen got one the last, on the last ship. And matter of fact, I tried to eat your burger up from you, you man. Your breakfast burger up from you, man. You did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number four. Listen, y'all. <laughs> if the carnival ship that you on have the seafood shack, let me tell you. You must hit that up. Please don't get off that ship without trying that seafood. I agree. It is delicious, and I'm telling really you. Really fresh. And for those of y'all that have already tried it, please put down in the comments and let people know who haven't tried it that they must do it. Yeah. Please. It's an upcharge, but it's definitely worth it's it. It's worth it. Tip number five. This is something we discovered because we're kind of lazy and yeah. we didn't feel like going back out and waiting in the long pizza line. It is an upcharge. And the upcharge is not for the pizza itself, but it's for the delivery of the pizza. There is something different about the pizza that's served out there and what is served when they deliver it to you. Yes. I don't care for the pizza, but the delivered pizza? Yes. Bomb. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I don't know what they do. I don't know if it's a different formula. I don't know if, <clears throat> all I know is it's way better. Yes. It doesn't taste like cardboard and cheese. <laughs> Go ahead and pay, I think it's $5 at this moment, and get that pizza delivered to you. Because y'all already know that in the wee hours of the night when you get those hunger, you know, you have been drinking and now you hungry, <laughs> and that's when you go and get some pizza and that line is freaking from the front of the ship to the back of the ship, <laughs> you ain't got to wait in line. Just order that skit and pay that pay that money and get it delivered right to your room, man. Uh -huh, it's worth knock it. Knock on your door. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> and I mean, thank you. Yes, indeed. Tip number six, y'all. We recommend buying the texting feature on the Carnival Cruise Hub app, which is only like five dollars, especially if For the you're duration of, of your the cruise. Tr yeah, especially if you're traveling with a big group, so that way you guys can be in contact with each other, especially if you're trying to coordinate, you know, oh, lunches, dinner, dinners, and... excursions, whatever y'all trying to where do together. You at? Yeah, where you at? So it is worth it. So we recommend buying that because we had to do that on our last family cruise that we took and it definitely helped. It worked. Yes. yes. And you don't have to buy a Wi-Fi package for it to work. Exactly. Tip number seven. Yeah. And because we're not the typical avid cruisers, sometimes we don't take 
advantage of the game shows and different things like that. But on our last cruise, we really dove head first yeah. into some of the games. And let me tell you, it was a good time. Like yeah, it if was. You, if you have the opportunity to ever participate in Quest, <laughs> it is very risque. Yes, like, it you're is. You're going to see <laughs> stuff that you should never speak of. But you're on vacation. It's going to be a really good time. Go ahead and go to the Love and Marriage show. If you're a person that's not afraid, volunteer to be on stage to see if they pick you. Go to Deal or No Deal. Like those things really do enhance yeah. your um, experience on board. Tip number eight. Y'all yeah. already know the saying that laughter is just like medicine. To so so. <laughs> so we recommend checking out the comedy clubs while you're on there. Now, of course, you don't know who these people are, <laughs> no. but I can say that Carnival does get really good comedians. Mm -hmm. Our last two um, they cruises, were really good. The, the comedians was excellent. So if you need some good laughs, some good times, please check out the comedy club, man. And don't be too serious about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we almost heading to our last two. So if you like what you hear so far, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit a thumbs up and we will appreciate it. We'll have more of these videos coming in the future. Yeah. Tip number nine. This is something that we had the pleasure of experiencing on our last cruise. Yeah. Because we purchased the Cheers package <clears throat> for the first time, we said we're just going to get our money's worth out of this. Do yourself a favor and get a majority of your drinks from the Alchemy Bar. Yes. <laughs> Because the ingredients are quality ingredients. No pre-mixed syrupy shelf stuff that's mixed in these big jugs. Yeah. That's nothing but pure sugar and corn syrup and, and dye and guav, uh, guav Stuff that gives you a hangover. That part. <laughs> if you want a strawberry daiquiri, they are mixing the strawberries in the yeah. blender and they are making your daiquiri. Pina colada, the pineapple is being bop, bop, it. So all of the ingredients are fresh and they cater to whatever your taste buds is. Yes. So if you like spicy drinks, sour drinks, sweet drinks, they will customize it to your palate. And it's on par as far as pricing goes with the other bars. So yeah. even if you don't have the Cheers package, it's not expensive. Exactly. All right. Tip number 10, y'all. Mm -hmm. We actually discovered this on our last trip. We highly recommend checking out the Bunzai Sushi Bar. Let me tell yes. you, if you love sushi. And if you don't. And if you, yeah, and if you <laughs> don't. There is just something about that soup, man. I'm telling you, that sushi is off the chain. And it was inexpensive. And yes. If, and when I said, even if you don't mm. like sushi, I had the Kobe beef on those little bun things. Baby, yeah. I used that <laughs> as my birthday meal. I was on board for my birthday. Instead of going to the steakhouse, which we did reserve, we canceled it. I was like, I want to go back and get that Kobe beef. Yeah, man. Because it was so it was good. Delicious. Yeah. Bonus tip. Yeah, man. Since I talked about the Alchemy Bar, this is something that a lot of people didn't know and I did not know myself. I knew it exists, but I didn't know that it only happened on day one of your cruise. If you go to the Alchemy Bar on day one of your cruise, they have what they call a martini tasting. They give you, I think it's five different martinis that you can choose from. And you just sit there and they have a flight of them that you can choose from. And it's 20 bucks. Not included in your cheers package, but it's a great experience for you to be able to customize. Be like, ooh, let me try this, this one, let me yep. try that one. And it's a good time. And they give you a good show while doing it. Yes, because we actually plan on doing that when we on our next trip, which is coming up in May. So we hope that you guys enjoyed the tips. If you have any additional tips for us, please put them in the comments and we're going to catch you all in the next video. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty side. Two up. Two, two down. down. Holla boo!